Good evening and welcome to Black Chat. I'm your host, Timba Madima. Uh, this evening we're chatting to Adam Lipschitz. Uh, he's in the building with us. Uh, we're going to be chatting all things uh, road running, cross country, as well as track. Um, fantastic uh, runner. Uh, he's a social runner, so he calls himself president of the Social Runners Club. Uh, but Adam is with us this evening. I hope you guys are looking forward to this one. Welcome, everybody. Lou and Minik, I see you. Uh, welcome. I see RWQ2. Shao Ulf, sir. Welcome. Uh, Shante Fry. Welcome. Jean Rousseau, Pacer Training. Good evening, everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. Q and Walker, I see you. Um, obviously, there's going to be a lot. <laughs> the Burrito Boy coming up. Uh, Adam is going to be with us. Uh, shortly, Jerry Matsao, uh, the Colin, uh, the president. We find out why. Why is he the, the general, the, the captain, the, the president? Uh, we're going to find out shortly why they call him that. But he's with us this evening. Uh, and it's going to be a good one. Make sure to tune in. I'm just sending him a quick invite. And then we're going to get started in a bit. Good evening, South Africa. Good evening, world. Hope you're all doing well. Adamo, what's happening? What's that? How are you doing, brother? All fun, all fun. Hey, good to see you. Uh, you know, I'm seeing a lot of comments. The president, the chief, uh, general. You know, uh, you, uh, executive, executive, uh, vice chair. Um, uh, you know, uh, people who are watching are confused. I don't understand what's happening. So maybe you, you you'll fill us in on that later. But first of all, how, how have you been? When you've been good? Yeah, all good. Um. Taking a few days, a few days, few weeks rest. Yeah, it's been a long season. Obviously, we've had we've had good results, but it's time to rest and recover now. Eh? Okay, so yeah, we'll get into the results. Obviously, twenty twenty one has been a, a good year for you, and I mean, you've always been in the mix. You know, some people think you're the new kid on the block and all these things, but I mean, you've been. I mean, since twenty twelve, twenty thirteen, in the mix. You know, uh, running at um, world juniors as well and so on so you, you've been there you know um for those who think you're new to this uh, uh scene uh but uh, we'll, we'll get into all of that as well now uh but firstly let me do a, a young introduction so that the people who are watching yeah, know sure. exactly who we're dealing with is it good yeah 100 percent. all right so ladies and gentlemen with us this evening we've got adam lipschitz and listen up he's the sa championship 10,000 meter silver medalist He's also the SA Championship Half Marathon fourth place finisher, SA Under 20 champion in the 5,000 meter, as well as part of Team SA at the World Under 20 Championship for the 3,000 uh, meter steeplechase, as well as Makabaya uh, Games 5,000 meter champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Adam Lipschitz. <laughs> I'm Vuvuzela for you as well, there. <laughs> Welcome, brother. Thank you very much. So, tell me, Adam, your nickname. Obviously, uh, it's it's one of those things we need to get out of the way quickly. Uh, what is your nickname? Uh, what what do, what do your people call you? Well, let's just start, Tim. It's not a nickname. It's a real thing. <laughs> the Social Honors Club is a love and well. Um, <laughs> I'm known as the chairman, the captain. Mm. Mm. The CEO, uh, the minister, the leader. <laughs> every, every week there's a new name. Um, Come on. But, yeah, no, we, we've we got something good going in the end. Whatever you want to call me, I'm happy to accept it, eh? <laughs> you know, I like to call you Adamo. Uh, that, that's, that, that's my go-to name. Um, obviously... Yeah, well, we, 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 I can say we go back as well, you know, we, we used to train uh, together as well at some point, uh, uh, but yeah, we, yeah, we'll get into that. <laughs> so, Adam, this running journey, where does this running uh, journey begin for you, man? If, were you always a runner or you look like you can play chess, you look like uh, uh, you can crunch numbers, uh, karate as well, or was running always your thing? Uh, yeah, so... I mean, when I was in high school, primary school, I played everything. Yeah. I did as much as I could. Uh, tennis, hockey, cross-country, athletics, softball, played some rugby. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. In high school, uh, there's a few people I see at from high school on here, but I played eight, 
eight team flower off. Yeah, right. For Glenn High School. Adam, um, Adam, you're not lying to me, Adam. Are you, are you no, telling me the truth here? No lies, there's photos. Um, we were uncoached. There was no coach. <laughs> um, we played the same school about five times a, a year because they Maritzburg College. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, most of the team was just made up made up of the, the back end scraps, eh? Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I played everything. I played tennis. Um, I enjoyed that. Uh, hockey was very nice. I enjoyed that as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but probably running started in grade four uh, with cross country. Yeah. And then, yeah, a friend of mine got me into it. And from there, slowly went up and up. Mm. Probably grade eight or nine and 10. I didn't run too much. I actually think I stopped completely. But then from grade 11 and 12, I picked it up and then started going for far with it. And I thought, yeah, this is it. This is it. Yeah. I see. Yeah, Jerry Matsau, like me, man, he's saying, Adam, stop lying. I think that you playing fly half is throwing everybody off, man. Uh, There's pictures. I will, I will <laughs> post pictures. Please post the pictures in your story <laughs> when you're done here so we can check it out. Philip in the Walker comments saying, there can. Uh, weren't you also in the debating team? No, that, 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 that's a cap right there. I did not debate. Um, <laughs> I, did, I played chess like in grade one or two, but that's, that's as far that's back it. as it goes, yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's amazing, man. I see Philip Mgadi um, says, We love you, Adam. Um, obviously, there's like, uh, like we can see, man, there's a strong uh, following and a lot of love coming all the way from Durban. Uh, there's uh, love coming from all over the country. And I know, man, there's some internationals as well uh, because you're not, a, you're not just local, you know, you, you, you've touched the other, other lands as well. So that's good to see. Now, let's do a few welcomes here. Obviously, uh, to Q yeah, and sure. Walker, we've done one. Alison Malindi, welcome to you. We've got uh, Tyra Nakan, welcome. Snetemba Ngema, William. I see Luan Minik is in the mix as well. Um, Izet Bele is also in here. Fanta, welcome to you. Welcome, guys. Uh, good to see you guys. I'm not going to get everybody. I see Razi Pendi is in here as well. Uh, <laughs> as well as the nickname, The Big Dipper. So many names, Adam. I'm not gonna. Uh, your nicknames are too many. We're not gonna finish them if we must. Uh, if we must try to go through all of them. Okay, I see Cozy is also in here. Uh, also another KZN uh, special breed there. 100 yeah. meter athletes. Cozy is in the building. Uh, welcome, guys. So Adam. So obviously then um, you start realizing grade 11, 12. Okay, wait. Um, I've got a talent for this thing. This is something I can do. But what what is the the shift? I mean, you said grade nine, ten, you weren't running at all. And then all of a sudden, get 11, 12, you're back. And when you say it picks up, man, it, that's literally what it does. I mean, it picks up all the way into an international level. Um, so what, what was the, what was the, um, the shift? Hey, these comments are killing me. <laughs> yeah, so Philip in the comments here can, can confirm uh, a good, good couple of years I spent with them in the grade 8 and 9 and 10 years, not running. Um, his comments will show you why. But a good friend of mine, yeah, so didn't really run too much um, then. And then, I don't know what it was, but just in grade 11, I just fell in love with running again. And then grade, yeah, grade 11, I think I went to S, I went to SA Juniors at Germiston. Yeah. I remember leading that race for about two Ks of steeplechase, and then, yeah, I sort of died. I think I came fifth, if I'm mm. correct. Yeah, and then 2012 was when things sort of changed. Um, SA champs was in. I'm not pretty. Yeah, I think no, that's the Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't place there. And mm. in, in Port Elizabeth, that's where I ran my qualifying time for Barcelona. Mm. Um, that was yeah. That was that was when I I sort of knew things are things can happen, you know, so we, we took it seriously from there and, and put a bit more effort. Mm. So, yeah, here's your opportunity now, man. You're going to Barcelona, the home of uh, uh, Lionel Messi. Uh, you know, uh, it's, 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 it's a big, big trip. I don't know if it's, you probably, I don't know if it was your first travel, but I mean, this is your first um, taste of representing South Africa on an international 
uh, level. What, what does that do to you, man? Uh, 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 tell us about that moment, the moment of uh, getting there. Obviously, you, you, when you get there, it's, you realize that, hey, it's serious. This running thing is, is really serious. But tell us about the, the, the process uh, from you know, getting your national colors towards being at your first international competition. Yeah, so 20, 2012 was that year. Um, it was, yeah, I still, I still hadn't really taken it too seriously. I, was still, I think I was still playing hockey quite competitively and tennis as well, I, I really did enjoy. Um, so even at school level, like when we went to play um, against opposite schools, like we went to Uffies or Greybloom, I would run cross country in the morning. I would then probably head to tennis. Yeah. I'd, I'd then, depending on the schedule, play rugby and then hockey in the morning. The whole four Yo. in one day. You were um, busy. <laughs> yeah, so I still hadn't concentrated completely on running. I was still doing a bit of everything. And yeah, yeah so then going, going to Barcelona, Barcelona was, it, it opened, opened my eyes. I said, no, this is, you know, I think even going, I was ranked like eighth or seventh in the world. So I yeah. still didn't really go in there, obviously, but I didn't do too well when I was there. But it, it changed everything. And then, yeah, that that sort of led to taking it all seriously. I even sacrificed, I think, the holidays. Mm. That after that, I think I went to Zambia. We went to Zambia for two run there. That's when I met to Kani. Shout out to Kani. <laughs> um, yeah, and then from there, where did I go? Lesotho. I think I went to cross country. I made cross country. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, that, that's it. That's the first yeah. bit of action. So, obviously, from that uh, moment, uh, there's, like you said, you decided, okay, now we're going to take it seriously. And then comes your move uh, down to Pretoria, or were you based at Pretoria at the time? Um, and then you, you move to uh, the Sponge Group, where obviously you meet the likes of uh, Stephen Mukoka and, and um, you know, all the other guys, Mabenzo, I think. I don't know if you were still there when Precious. I think yeah, Precious yeah. probably joined a bit after, or he was there. Uh, Chova, the likes, you know the guys, you know the guys. You, you, you socialize, you chill with the guys. Um, what role did that play in your running? I mean, if you look back at it, you know, what, what, what role yeah. did it play then? And what, what did it play now? You know what I mean? In the long run. Yeah, so even even at Tux of 2013, um, after Barcelona, after Zambia, so that was the next the next year. I didn't do too much studying there, I'll be honest. It wasn't it was a it was a waste of a year to study. I still regret it, but it is what it is. Um yeah, I mean I met them, I I didn't train too much with that group to be honest. I was there for a bit, but then I started doing my own program because I couldn't adapt. It was very high mileage. So I, I sort of did my own. I joined Gladwin in the mornings, but I'll do my own sessions afternoons and so that. So it, it played a good role. It definitely showed that, you know, you can do something with running with that group with Brad Steve and the rest of the impressions was there at the time. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it definitely has played a part. Cool. So, I mean, from then on, I mean, it was it was uh, it was not as, as smooth. Let's call let's not call, let's say it was not a smooth journey to like. I mean, now you I mean now you're back, man. You know you're back uh, from uh, from where you were. If I look twenty uh, nineteen, I mean you were still in the mix on the road and so on. But now you know reintroducing yourself back on the track. And then uh, being able to 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 win a silver medal at the SA Championship, and also in the in the what is it in the half marathon to finish top five, you know, I mean for for many, you know, I mean they, they call you the the president of the Social Runners Club. Hey, you know you're pushing, you know, even uh, even Q and years. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this guy Q and and uh, Kurt are, are going at it. Uh, so Adam, uh, Kurt is saying Adam is a Tugs bread champion. Uh, I see Michael Hran saying the rugby god, tennis god. Come on now, what is what didn't you do? But anyways, uh, so as I was saying, like yeah, there's been a, a big journey. Like I mean, it looks like you've you've, you've transitioned and you've 
found different ways of doing things until you got to to where you are now that window there explain adam what's happening in that window yeah. so, uh to your rebirth now sure so from 2013 tax year still yeah halfway through i tore like i had tears of my achilles it wasn't a full tear but it was a tear where you couldn't really walk so that was that that took a good 2 years mm. to do anything i couldn't do anything i had platelet injections that I, i tried to avoid everything but a but a uh spot surgery yeah so i did everything every bit of therapy all that it was 2013 to 2015 pretty much there was nothing really happening mm. i don't think i I don't even have any results anyway. So 2015, 2016 as well. Um same similar period I sort of went not happy but I went backpacking quite a bit. Um through <laughs> Asia so that sort of yeah that, <laughs> that didn't to do too well for the running but I was still struggling with the kidneys. Cuz yeah, then yeah. the compensation created the other one and gave the other one a problem uh-huh. so I, had, i tore the other one as well sure little little micro tears yeah yeah and yeah so that was another year or two of no just no no consistency um so i think 16 17 i sort of take took a bit of rest uh-huh. and then picked it up and then another friend introduced me to like solgar the natural yeah. supplement here yeah, and there's a certain supplement that feeds the achilles mm-hmm. and since then i've i've never had problems wow so i did all the rehab and all that but that product it's like it's like a burrito um, <laughs> but it's it like a burrito wonders. it does wonders <laughs> So since then I have had no yeah. Michael saying cost a lot. <laughs> cost a lot. <laughs> um but yeah so that period I sort of wasn't focused too much on running as well. Yeah, like I, said, I think I went, it was more like a, a healing period, you know, trying to find your body and recovering as well, but also for the mind I think it probably did you more good than you you know, you know. Yeah, so definitely the travel, the travel took my mind completely off running and you had the little niggles and the Achilles still wasn't 100% and you know I just went to do my own thing and then past that period we now in what say 2017 18 18 and and that's sort of our state of the track because of Achilles and Sparks yeah yeah I'm I'm was very skeptical about going anything lower than 10 mil drop uh-huh. um because I think that's what also hurt me so i didn't even for a long time i didn't even put racing shoes on i just used training shoes because of the 10 mil drop yeah and then also when nike released their vapor flies the first vapor fly was 10 mil drop mm. so your training shoe and your racing shoe are the same same yeah, drop yeah. and that and that you know that's, that work. was like no that was perfect oh was that perfect yeah because you can race and train Oh yeah, yeah, what yeah. Three millimeter drops. Exactly. Um, so that's yeah, 2018, 2019. I ran, I ran well in 2018. Yeah. Still no track road. I was, I was alright. I had 29 on the road. Yeah, 29 one, I think. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I. It was good, and then. Yeah, moving into 2019. We were running well. Um, I ran 28, 30. six in Cape Town. Was around 29 11 I think it was in Cape Town the two weeks before that on the road. So it was it was promising there and at the obviously the 28 was yeah up there. it's a big one. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely man. So then um so that's this we are 2019 now right? 2019 COVID year yeah. 2020 rocks up. So What does that do to is, is this yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so what what does that do to you? Is, is that a was that a bonus for you or was it uh, a bit of a setback? Uh no, I think it was a bit of a setback because coming off that 28 10k the yeah. confidence was there. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I knew what I had to do, and I, I had a very good preseason for once, where I did decent mileage and all that coming into twenty. Twenty twenty. Mm. I, I was by Feb March. I was still in preseason, but I was running twenty eight tens. I mean twenty nine wow. ten. Not I wasn't really pushing. It was a training run. I ran twenty nine. Yeah. 14 I think it was or 15 and yeah and I hadn't even started speed work or anything speed work. I had, yeah I didn't do too much speed work um, so yeah that was that was sort of disappointing because whatever I did this year I knew I was going to do last year mm. so ah, okay, I see. there's no need to be surprised about this year because it would have happened last year you know what I mean yeah 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 so that, <laughs> That sort of hampered, but probably the rest did us all well, I think. Mm. Okay. No, man, absolutely. I mean, if, when we look at uh, like 2021 has been a, a big year, man. PBs, you were in the mix. You are in the mix, you know, uh, for, from uh, from where people, you know, last um, saw you, you know, on the road to, to, to coming back and being in, in the ship of, I mean, in the ship of your life right now. Uh, sure. On the track, I mean, uh, probably smashing more PBs. You're probably gonna be smashing more on the road later on when you transition cross country. Is that your thing? Hey, that, that thing is tough, bro. Um, I've made SA cross country as a junior. Yeah, so I'm talking about now, Adam. No, you were, you were young then. No, we we we're gonna head back to cross country. I think. Okay. Um, the the main goal for the end of second half of the year is uh. We we want to do some half marathons. We need to run under sixty one. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to run under sixty one. It's just okay. Where. Okay. Uh, All right. We'll find a few races overseas and go there. But that that's the main goal. But cross country, I definitely want to head there. I think it's down in Durban and eh? Toti, SA champs. Yeah. So yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be something. But no, I'm de- I'm definitely in the mix there. Absolutely, man. Oh, Looking no. forward to that one. Yeah. Hey, you know what, man? Road running, 10K, 5K, man. What you guys done to the event uh, this year, man, it was it was so exciting. Uh, uh, 5,000 has never been um, so exciting. Even the half, half marathon, um, 10K, the works, you know what I mean? Uh, it's it's good, man. Th- that's, that's why I think the standard of, of the competition is going, uh, I mean, Distance running has is, is become so exciting that, you know, even when Precious goes to run in Cape Town, you know, it's in the news, the guys are trying to qualify. We've got the, 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 the executive director, CEO of the Captain. Social Runners Club, uh, you know, uh, pace setting. Uh, we've got, you know, all these athletes working together. I mean, I think that, that, that's what's uh, most important because yeah. if we're going to get the, the, the distance running to be back on top there, how, how important do you think it is for you guys to work together i've seen in durban you guys have a movement uh definitely a strong movement Mbuleli matanga yourself yeah. and i mean there's a lot of other guys as well q and obviously always keeping us up to date with the photos and everything that's happening there what's going on what are you guys up to so just before we start uh, just a quick shout out to tyler yeah watch the space yeah there's big things coming there <laughs> yeah, um, yeah just watch the space mm. um okay yeah, secondly <laughs> It's just motivation. I think I think people are excited to run again. Mm. You know, uh, everyone's got their own thing going. I know the Sponge Group. I, I think there's there's more drama in Pretoria and and Joburg <laughs> than those groups. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> you know as as captain, I get all the spas <laughs> and it, it's warm. You know. Yeah, yeah. In Durban, not so much. So everyone is happy to run with each other, join each other's clubs. And just, you know, there's only one track as well. Mm, yeah, that's true. So. I see. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take some questions. Not, there's not too much but drama. Everyone's happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, but I mean, I, I, we can see it, man. You can see the atmosphere there in Durban is really... It's, 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 yeah, you guys are, you can see you guys are a team. You guys, it's almost like you guys decided this year that, hey, guys, we're going to cause heaven, okay? No, no more taking uh, nonsense from Pretoria mm. or, or Porch or any other, any other province, off seas or, or anything, you know? 
and yeah. <laughs> it's 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 been good i mean if you look at mbulele was able to do um in the in the in the 10000 is it 5000 10000 yeah 10000 um yourself in the 10 but even what he's been able to do in the 5000 you know it's it's very good and it's encouraging stuff man um i see corner fredrick says adam just defend the land brother adam please uh, do the I right thing mm. uh i see gochen rsa is saying adam please share your opinion on the tax track hey, 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 hey. why 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 does it look like this controversy going to be <laughs> happening here all right all right uh, gochen will get back to that question i want to get to something first before we get there yeah um your role models do you have any role models uh coming up on the on the track you know like the way it looks like running is something that just kind of happened and it wasn't something that you've always did you always think you do you be a runner number one and did you have a role model no i know role models to be honest in running um yeah i didn't i didn't follow running too much either yeah to be honest there were other other role models yeah tell But, me what, uh, what role models are these <laughs> can you mention them cool i'm getting some whatsapps to tell me who i should say for role model but i'm not going to uh, <laughs> <laughs> no i just had other role models and in other sports or that yeah, that's yeah. the stars you look up to uh yeah but running wise no no one in particular all right cool man yeah. no, uh, if you want we, we can we can get back to the tux controversy eh because it's <laughs> it's real let, 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 let's get to it uh after that we'll take uh what is the comment from uh what is it usa mav says adam can I run a 3 km tomorrow morning with you hey you know people just want to rub mm-hmm. shoulders with the president hey, but you would uh, it's not very easy okay let's get to the tax one so it's prove it's proven it's proven facts until it's not <laughs> the tax track is short everyone knows that it's <laughs> 387 meters long there's no debate about it until it can be proven elsewise The tax track is 387 meters long. Uh cheap no. if you measured it what is what, so what is your what is your we, thesis behind this? <laughs> so Nori 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 is more than happy to fly up one of these days and measure the track and put this this argument to sleep. <laughs> But as of right now until it has been measured it is 387 <laughs> meters long and it's only facts and we're leaving it at that. <laughs> uh, this uh recording with your government watch does not count eh? uh but uh, until nori can prove us prove it uh, right or wrong uh, it is a conspiracy conspiracy theory <laughs> all right uh, coming to <laughs> i see gochen says uh, herda stein is one of your role models oh, okay anyway so adam <laughs> yeah let, let's come to the to the next one so obviously um like I, like I was saying you know middle distance and distance running it's very important what what do you think what what do you say is one of the most important things when it comes to like developing as an athlete i know cross country is something that has played an important role in um your life and as well as many if you look at many of our distance runners etc they all started in cross country eventually uh specialized on the track and then move on to uh uh the road you know is is this do you think is this a type of line that uh, you would recommend or what what do you what do you what do you think from from your experience uh, from your from your knowledge yeah listen it didn't do too much like development for me obviously at school it's one of the main running events because they don't do athletics too often but you do have your cross country around school but i th- i think just getting kids motivated because cross country mm. can be unmotivating you know it's not the the best place to run mm um, on the surface so yeah i'm not i'm not i wouldn't say i'm all for cross country to be the only form of developing athletes but i think i think the road could even play a good part mm. you know i think the road you think so? yeah definitely the road the road running even though it's not good for your your legs at a young age but mm No, I'm I talking about at the young age. I'm talking about at the young age. Yeah, tra- no, then track and field has to come back. 
Mm. Track and field has to be revived in all provinces. You can't, I can't, okay. you can't just rely on cross country. To be honest, I think I think track yeah, and field yeah. motivates a lot of people. No, absolutely. I think it's yeah. There's a, I mentioned three of them, you know, because if I I'm just looking at what I've seen as well, if you look at the trend around the world. Obviously, it's not a it's not one formula for everybody, but. Yeah. Uh, you look at the uh, majority of the guys, whether it's Kinesele, Bekele, or, you know, we can go the likes of Elroy, Steven, um, yourself, and Zazi. Most of the athletes, um, Nolene and them, started off on the cross cross and, and track. Track was always very important, especially, I think, for the speed side of it. And then eventually sure. uh, doing a full transfer to to road running. But yeah, no, I'm with you. Check, check is probably uh, one of the most important. But uh, we see a tendency of uh, people leaving the check a bit earlier uh, these days than you know than than it used to be previously. Yeah. No, sure. So your motivation. What is your motivation? You know, you spoke about being motivated. What is the thing that makes Adam uh, wake up in the morning, put on his spikes? Uh, you know, prepare. I mean, running. Let's be honest, Adam. Running is not easy. Tennis. You're gonna be so much mm. na, so much more better at tennis and uh, and uh, you know what else did you play hockey? You know when it comes to um, intensity. Well, obviously it's a skill sport. Skill has to be much higher in team sports, um, and that takes a lot of work as well. But I mean, when it comes to toughness and being a machine, you know, running running is is quite hard. What what is your motivation uh, on a day to day basis? Yeah, so again, over the last year or so, it's become easier. I, I mean, I'm always mm-hmm. motivated. I always wake up early either way. So running early, I actually run earlier now. I used to run only when the sun came up, but now I'm running a lot earlier. So that's mm-hmm. also just little motivation. But it's it's getting more enjoy enjoyable, you know. And also, I'd I'd say now honestly, the the social running movement. Is actually motivating. No, seriously, because mm. from lockdown, a lot of people have actually started running or yeah. taken interest in running. Yeah, you know, a lot, a lot of friends back from the grade nine and ten years mm. um, <laughs> hit me, hit me up and asked me about running, and they want to start jogging. And you know, quite a few of them actually that are not coached by me, but I just, I just tell them what what they can do, and that's. That is motivating, I'll be honest. Yeah, so yeah. I, I think from lockdown and this whole social runners club movement, which is only getting started, is uh, it, it's it's nice to see you know when you wake up in the morning and you see hundreds of runners yeah. out in Durban on the promenade or in Amschlonga. Shout out yeah. Amschlonga Social Runners Club. Um, yeah. Five a.m. Five thirty. It's it's nice to see. It's a different world between five mm-hmm. and six a.m. No, man, absolutely, man. I think it's, um, and and I think that that's why the likes of you know road running as well as even like cross. I mean, you, got, I was there, we had a cross meeting here at uh, CGA over the weekend, live streaming that. You got seventeen-year-old uh, granddads, you know, people's fathers. They're out there, man, uh, mm. taking on these eight-kilometer routes, uh, mass participation. There's kids, there's everybody. You know, it's it's all about. End of the day, you know, if anybody loves running, you know, they should they should they should feel um, a part of the movement as well. And I mean, I think that's why that's why I I, I commend you with the uh, social runners club movement because end of the day, uh, that's the way to grow the sport. On uh, if if it's not yeah. enjoyed on a social level, it will never be enjoyed on TV as much as well. Unfortunately, because those are the people that support when you are uh, running. They're the ones that tune in and they 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 wanna see you run their competitions and I want to see your face etc um yeah so that's important i want to touch on this one as well because we chatted yeah, about this sure. one as well um personal branding man because i think that's what you've been able to to kind of do with this movement as well how important is personal branding and do you think uh, south african athletes are doing enough let's say distance runners are distance runners or even a lot of let's say female runners female athletes as well as track and field athletes or road running athletes, are they doing enough to build their brands into such a level where sponsors would want to work with them 
Yeah, so yeah, we we spoke about it in Cape Town, I think last week or the week before. Yeah. Personally, road runners on the lady side have done a lot better. Um, Khair has got a very good brand back by mm. back and then so so she she's she's leading the force as to personal branding and getting sponsors on board. Yeah, yeah. Um, there are other people that are doing good jobs, but in general, it's it's not a, a great movement, to be honest. Mm, and mm, athletics, mm. there's a lot of athletes that can perform, but they're unable to put those performances and monetize it. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's no brand. I mean, it, people should have taken opportunity as of lockdown. We didn't mm. have to be in person. You can create yeah, your, yeah. your social how, your social media platforms. Um, we social runners club started as a joke. Mm. We we just we just did as a bit of banter mm-hmm. you know, between a few people about lockdown and running and times and, and yeah. setting rules and making up you know what's <laughs> the difference between an elite and a social runner and there are there are, there are stringent <laughs> rules in place. <laughs> <laughs> or Elisa Rubok, man, on there. Twitter, it's it's always late on Twitter. I mean, I'll I'll yeah. just name a few of the guys. I mean, you, Jerry, Kieran is also causing havoc there. And then um, for love you, I can't forget for love you. Yeah, uh, it's funny, man. It's funny, but <laughs> you yeah, continue. So, so so basically, they we we spoke about. I think ASA now with the new uh, executives in charge should invest in social media. So they should invest in a I know they're doing a lot of work with Backtrack, but pursue it further. I, yeah, know, yeah. I know President has said that he wants to put everything on TV, which is perfect, but mm. invest in social media first. Yeah, yeah. Because just from a, let's let's just work it on this. Let's look at Wade. I mm. didn't know Wade was running until he ran. Yeah. To be honest, I only woke up this morning and saw he had, had qualified. Now, Wade is the face of the sport. In this country, yeah, yeah, there's no doubt about it. But there's just no communication. I think Manfred did put something up. Shout out Manfred, a couple of days ago or so. But besides that, there was nothing official that I saw. Mm. So if if the social media presence, because everyone's on everyone's on Facebook, everyone's on Instagram, everyone's on Twitter. If yeah. we can get that going properly from ASA's point of view and just from them directly, you know, yes, there are third party. Uh, start to get involved, but one stream, one line, profile all your athletes, get them, get them out there. Yes, it's off season now, track and field, but when road running comes back, still get those track athletes, sprint to the arc, to the road races. You know, make mm-hmm. their presence felt with the actual runners who watch them. Yeah, so, absolutely. just, just something like that. And like I said, it's the social running movement has just started. We'll, yeah. we'll see, it, we'll see how big it will get once. Running gets back. We've we've got yeah. a whole we've got a whole strategy and plan in place there, and we we want to be one of those third party um, movements, you know that that help the sport grow in this country. And I think we will do that quite quite well. Absolutely. No, I mean I think it's what you're saying, man. It's uh, unfortunately, man. It's the it's the truth because uh, athletes have to be. Yeah, I mean, I think the clubs uh, can also do it as well, uh, you know, play a role in making sure that the athletes build their brand. Some of them are doing a very uh, good job, like you mentioned, Gerda. I mean, Gerda is uh, she's almost a superstar, you know, I mean, everywhere she yeah. goes, she's known. And I mean, that, that also, that following comes from being in a mass participation sport as well, you know, that's that's power there because those numbers are are real and they're tangible and they see her on the road and the, you know, social media presence yeah. is also very good. I, I think uh, and I mean, there's a lot of true. other athletes that are very good. I mean, wait for Nika has got amazing social media presence. Yeah. Uh, since he's gone to America, his, his uh, branding and his personal profile has even almost uh, doubled in worth, you know, because now he's in, with the Americans um, and so on. But yeah. So, but I mean, what you say is, is, is absolutely a hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, true man and I mean we have to do something and uh, I always say like we, even with us with Backtrack when we came into the scene we were, this young, we were young kids man still yeah, bambinos you know we still yeah, young but I mean we, we saw we came in a time where track and field was 
there was a lot of endorsements moving away and there was not much TV or and that type of thing. And in that time, you know, we just decided, you know, either we're going to complain about it or we're going to give athletes something to be happy and proud and to see themselves and profiling. The aim was just for athletes to be seen or runners and whatever. And I think it's grown over the years into uh, something that, you know, South Africans can be proud of. Because this is a South African product, you know, purely South African. Yeah. I see Usa Mav says Backtrack is doing what Flow Track is doing in USA. Uh, but with a little bit of um, Zanzi spice, you know, we, 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 are, we keep it South African, we keep it local. Um, but, uh, you know, that, that's the aim. I see QN also says Big Ups Backtrack for everything that you do, you guys do. Uh, see Sparta also saying, uh, James, the Sparta says Backtrack being the most appreciated guys um yeah it's for the love of athletics under the day for the love of running that's what must be the most fundamental and most important thing you know sure. so i'm gonna take one more question adam um yeah, sure. then we can wrap it up Ish, i see time is moving and then you can get back to your uh, to your life i know there's uh, there's gonna there's a lot of messages that are coming in that you need to reply to as well um so a message to south africans man i think uh, during this this uh, time now and with what is coming in the future, you know, when it comes to obviously road running will, will be open again and things will, will eventually get back to some form of of normal. What, what message do you have to uh, South African uh, runners from social all the way to the elite? Uh, yeah, so we, as a, as a fellow social runner to other social runners, just just keep at it. Um, I don't have I don't have too much to say to the elites because I, I don't know what that is. But <laughs> from a social runner's point of view, we we just every day we grind, you know. Um, yeah. Make make sure once you finish running in the morning, put on Strava. Um, show us your elevation. You know, those are a few things that you need to keep doing in order to keep things in line. Yeah, yeah. Um, and <laughs> Yeah, just just keep just keep enjoying the sport. I think I think especially down in Durban, winters are a lot warmer and a lot more beautiful. And I yeah. think we missed I think we missed our winters last last year with lockdown. Yeah, yeah. But, but every day it's uh, the weather's near perfect, mm. and it's, it's just nice to be out there and running. You know, you see fellow runners. Um, Michael says I must add elapsed time. Yeah. Social runner. So yeah, put it on your Strava. Make just make sure your your Strava is not blocked or restricted. Yeah. Like we need to see everything. We and we need you don't want to hear. You want to see time, position, elevation, <laughs> elapsed time, um, heart rates. Put your heart rate on there. I know a lot of people are hiding their heart rates. Show yeah, because they're pushing. Rate. They go out. You know they say they say e went out for an easy run. Meanwhile, heart rate is there. Exactly. So. <laughs> from a social runner's point of view to, to motivate and keep us going just show us all of it we will stay out of your way um, and everyone will be happy Twitter's, Twitter will be safe you know <laughs> so that from from an elite point of view yeah not not too much to say because I'm, I'm again it's, it's like speaking to foreigners I don't know what that is um, but yeah let's just keep going let's just keep hustling and it's, let's keep running yeah, let's keep running. Plain and simple. Uh, Pure and Walker says for love you and his tempo runs. Hey, you know, people. Mm. But uh, let, let, let's uh, let's wrap it here. We're going to have to bring yeah, for love you sure. in here to talk for himself. Eh? I don't want you guys yeah. to talking too much about for love you. And Follow Jerry. Me. We want to see Jerry. Yeah. Hey, Jerry, Jerry, all of a sudden is upgraded from a social runner mm. uh, to a SA record holder, uh, Chief. Uh, so what happens to his membership? Do you retract it or, or what, is, what happens now? So, Jerry has a six, I think he's got six years left on his um, vast, vast chair position. So Jerry's going nowhere. We're not canceling that contract. <laughs> he's born and bred a uh, social runner. Um, he does a lot of the, the deputy work. You know, we do have deputy minutes. He's known as deputy minister, vast chair. Um, <laughs> also leadership because he does play a big leadership role, but Jerry's not going anywhere. All right, Adam. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks for joining us. Uh, awesome chat. Uh, we'll bring you uh, back again once the road is open. And when I see, when I see the social runners movement uh, growing, when I see um, what you're doing, you know, to give back to um, 
uh, running and sport athletics and so on as well. So big ups for, for what you guys are doing, man. Especially, it's always good to see young people doing things that, you know, they were usually seen for, 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 for the older generation to do, you know. But I mean, end of the day, it's our time, man. It's our time to make things happen. It's our time to, to, to do what we want to do with the sport to get it to a place where we can all be happy and proud of it, you know. So, yeah, yeah big ups to 100%. you, man. Keep at it. Keep no, training. Uh, we, know, we know some big things are coming on in the half marathon, the road. And yeah. even next year, we're going to be seeing some, uh, some qualifiers. I know. I know. The way you guys are going at this moment, mm. uh, two or three guys will qualify for, for world champs next year, which, is, which mm. is what we need, you know. So big ups and yeah, thanks to everybody for watching, man. Uh, we appreciate it, Adam. Cheers, I appreciate Timber. your time, Have brother. Everyone. All right, cheers, man. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this one. Uh, we had Adam Lipschitz in the building. Uh, to everybody who watched, guys, thanks for 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 tuning in. Sorry, we couldn't take all uh, the questions. Uh, I know there's a lot of questions coming in for Adam, um, but it is what it is. We'll be back again tomorrow. We've got a special one. Uh, we're just waiting for a confirmation and then we'll let you know exactly who it is. But it's a big one. And on Thursday, we've got another chat again. Uh, so just tune in. Uh, let's keep the conversation going. Because it's important for road running, check and field and athletics. Uh, I'm your host, Tamba Madima. And we are powered by Backcheck Sports. See you again. Take care and God bless. Nah.